Hi, I'm Larry Grossman. We're here at the SHOT Show 2018, Las Vegas, and we're reintroducing the 44 Automag, which has not been made for a number of years. It actually started out in like 1970. Um, they produced them for a while, but it was extremely expensive to produce. They were selling very, very cheap. Uh, the, the company, would, we made them, it went bankrupt. We actually started uh, making them again some years later. And Harry Sanford was the designer of it. He designed the gun. He actually kept it going. We would make it, and it would have little issues financially and everything. It would start, it would stop. And he actually, after quite a few times of starting and stopping it, he had passed away in 96. And uh, so then it came to a complete halt. But it sat for a long time until somebody purchased all the parts. They purchased all the parts. Uh, they started making it again. And actually, the, the, what brought a lot of, it, it was a very popular gun, but what brought a lot of fame is about in the 80s, we made a gun for Clint Eastwood. We presented it to him. It was basically like this gun, and we gave it to him, and he said, I want to use that in a movie. He said, I got to get a script for it. He got a script. It was a year or so later, he got a script. He came back. He says, now I need one that shoots blank so I can make it in a movie. I got a movie already going. So then it became very popular. Everybody wanted one. We weren't making them, which kind of was not a good deal. But actually now we, we are starting to make it again with some improvements. It's machined from solid material. The, the, the basic gun was always a good design, but now we're making this is all machined from solid on CNC equipment. This also the bolt, the barrel, basically the same design, but it's improved materials, improved uh, tolerances. So now it's, I, I feel, I always felt the gun was a great gun, but I feel now that it's like the best Automag made right now, quality wise. And the, the response and the, the people that, I thought maybe only the older folks would know it, but that's a lot of the younger people know it. A lot of people know the gun. It's, I guess, quite well known around the world actually, you know, because it's a pretty iconic gun. And for a gun that was designed in like 1970, I think it's got a pretty much modern day look and it was very advanced back then. So we're really looking forward to making a lot of them, selling a lot of them, and uh, so far it's been awesome. I've been just dazzled because since I put on about close to 40 years of my life into this gun, or maybe actually more than that, close to 50 years of my life in this gun, I'm, I'm extremely excited to see the popularity of it, how many people love this gun, and I'm, I'm glad it's back, and we're, we're gonna be making them, and uh, keep looking for them, and it's a great, great gun.